Hey everyone, and welcome to Zabbix series. In the next couple of videos, we will take a look at some of the Zabbix server configuration parameters and discuss how changing the values of these parameters affects your Zabbix instance. Our first video will be dedicated to parameters responsible for collecting your metrics. Later on, we'll also look at the parameters responsible for configuring your cache sizes and other parameters that can have a major impact on your Zabbix performance. If you wish to get an even more in-depth look at the inner working of Zabbix processes, their internal communications, and learn about the variety of ways of troubleshooting and optimizing your Zabbix instance under the guidance of a Zabbix certified trainer, check out our Zabbix certified expert course. You can find more information about the Zabbix certified training program in the video description. Before we begin, I'd like to emphasize that all of these processes can be tracked in the Zabbix server data gathering process graph. The graph is available on the Zabbix server host, which is the only pre-configured host on a fresh Zabbix server deployment. Let's start off with one of the most common data gathering processes, polars. The parameter responsible for defining polars is named start polars in the Zabbix server configuration file. By default, you will have five polars active. Polars are responsible for polling Zabbix agents running in passive mode, collecting data from your SNMP endpoints, performing HTTP agent checks, and executing external checks which point to custom scripts or binaries. If you're doing a lot of polling, the default value of 5 will start getting insufficient quite quickly. Pay attention to your Zabbix server health graphs and try to approximate the polar usage trend and by how much the number of polars should be increased over time. Start IPMI polars parameter is responsible for, you guessed it, polling IPMI interfaces. Remember that by default the value of this parameter is 0. The value has to be larger than 0 if you wish to perform any IPMI polling. Start polars unreachable can be extremely tricky to configure since the unreachable polars kick in only for hosts that are experiencing connectivity issues. Once a host is unreachable via either regular polls, SNMP checks, IPMI checks or JMX checks, items belonging to the corresponding interface are then polled by unreachable polars as to not overload regular polar processes with potentially unresponsive checks. History polars, configured by the start history polars parameter, were introduced in Zabbix 5.4 and their goal is to take care of calculated and internal checks. The default value for these is 5 and the more calculated checks you have, the more polars will be required. Pingers can be configured by changing the start pingers parameter. By default you will have a single pinger process. Pingers are very simple, the only thing they're responsible for is performing simple ICMP pings. The more ICMP ping items of type simple check you have, the busier the pingers will become. HTTP polars, configured by the start HTTP polars parameter, perform web scenario checks. Despite their name, they do not perform HTTP agent checks. Those are performed by the regular polar processes. By default, you will have a single HTTP polar. Increase the number of HTTP polars whenever you reach a number of web scenarios that cannot be handled by the single HTTP polar process. Java polars play a role in Java metric collection and are configured with the start Java polars parameter. The Java polars connect to Zabbix Java gateway and collect the metrics from there. By default, you will have zero Java polars. So if you're implementing Java application monitoring, don't forget to start some Java polars. Similar to some of the previously discussed polar types, ODBC polars, configured by the start ODBC polars parameter, are responsible for a particular type of check, database monitor checks. By default, you will have a single ODBC polar. Increase this as you implement more items of type database monitor. Trappers accept incoming connections from Zabbix active agent checks, Zabbix sender, and Zabbix proxies running in active mode. The default value for the start trappers parameter is 5. The more active proxies, active Zabbix agents, and Zabbix trapper items you have, the busier the trappers will become. Zabbix frontend also connects to the trapper process to check the availability of Zabbix server. If all of your trapper processes are busy, you might run into the Zabbix server is not running message in your frontend. If you wish for Zabbix to collect SNMP traps from your SNMP devices, you will have to enable SNMP trapper process by setting the value of the start SNMP trapper parameter to 1. Take note that by default this process is disabled, and without enabling it, you will not be able to collect SNMP traps. 
VMware collectors perform VMware service monitoring. By default, the value of the start VMware collectors is set to zero. In most cases, this value should not be less than two and should be less than two times the number of monitored VMware services. For example, if you're monitoring a single VMware instance, set this value to two. If you're monitoring three VMware instances, set this value to five. Finally, we'll finish up with proxy pollers. Proxy pollers are responsible for polling passive Zabbix proxies and retrieving the metrics collected by your proxies. The more proxies you have and the more frequently you poll your proxies, the more proxy pollers will be required to handle all of the proxies. By default, the value of start proxy pollers is one. And that's it for today's video. If you have any comments or suggestions, or maybe you wish to understand the significance of other Zabbix processes, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section under this video. I hope this video will come in handy with fine-tuning your Zabbix gathering processes, and I will see you next time.